Lesson 10.6, Find and Draw Lines of Symmetry. It's really important that you take notes because we're going to cover a lot of information and that you have seen 10.5, which is linked in the description. We can find how many lines of symmetry a polygon has by folding it in different ways so the parts on either side of the fold match exactly. Then the fold line will be the line of symmetry. We learned in video 10.5 that there are regular polygons and irregular polygons. Regular polygons have sides that are all the same length and angles that are all the same measure. Irregular polygons have sides that are different lengths and angles that are different from each other. A shape has line symmetry if it can be divided in half by one or more lines of symmetry, the two halves will be mirror images of each other. This chess pawn, we have a vertical line of symmetry, and if I fold it on that line of symmetry, it'll make a perfect match, see? And with this heart, if I fold it on that vertical line of symmetry, it makes a perfect match. We can find lines of symmetry by using dot paper and a straight edge. We draw a triangle so all sides have equal length. We fold the triangle in different ways to test for line symmetry. And the fold lines will be the lines of symmetry. Now this is not regular dot paper. This is isometric dots. If you look, they're not stacked on top of each other. See? And it works for a triangle to use isometric dots. We can fold it in half vertically and it will make a mirror image, see? We can even fold it this way. And we can fold it this way. And we can see that if we folded it in half like this, it wouldn't make a mirror image because this part is wider and this part's narrower, so it doesn't have a horizontal line of symmetry here, does it? And there's no horizontal line of symmetry for this triangle. Different triangles will have different lines of symmetry. It depends on the length of their sides and the size of their ankles. An equilateral triangle, it has three equal sides and it has three equal angles. It's equiangular also. It has three lines of symmetry. Because the sides and angles are equal, they're equivalent, it's a regular polygon. Three sides, three lines of symmetry. For an isosceles triangle, it has two longer sides and one shorter one. It only has one line of symmetry. For a right isosceles triangle, these two are the same size and this one's longer, it has one line of symmetry. This is called a right scalene. It's a right triangle because we can see the square corner, but it's scalene because all three sides are different lengths. It has zero lines of symmetry. And a scalene triangle, we can see that it has three different side lengths and it's got an acute angle, an acute angle, and an obtuse angle. It has zero lines of symmetry. So that's a regular polygon. These are irregular polygons. For regular polygons, which had, have sides of equal length and equal size angles, the number of sides will equal the number of lines of symmetry. If it has three equal sides with equal angles, it'll have three lines of symmetry. If it has four, it'll have four lines of symmetry. It have, if it has five, it'll have five lines of symmetry, and so on. But they have to be regular polygons, and it has to have equal side lengths, and it has to have angles that are all the same measure. A square has four sides of the same length and four same size angles. It has four right angles. It is a regular polygon. Four equal sides and four equal angles, that equals four lines of symmetry. We have one vertical, one horizontal, and two diagonal. 
A parallelogram has two pairs of parallel lines and two pairs of sides of equal length. It is not a regular polygon. It doesn't have four equal sides and four equal angles. It has zero lines of symmetry. It cannot be divided in half by any lines then folded to make mirror images of the sides. If we took a line and put it like this, if we folded it over, then, let's move this over so it's equal, then this corner would be sticking way out over here, and this corner would be sticking way out over here, so that won't work. And same thing if we go horizontal. If we go horizontal and try folding it over, this corner, this vertex, would be way over here. It wouldn't be a mirror image, and this corner, this vertex, would be way up here. So it has zero lines of symmetry. We can't even do it diagonally, because then this vertex would end up being way up here. It wouldn't be a mirror image. See that? A rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides and four sides of equal length. But the angles are not all equal. There are two acute angles and two obtuse angles. A rhombus is not a regular polygon. It has two diagonal lines of symmetry. We can't do a vertical one. If we did, this vertex would end up being way over here, and this vertex would be way over here. See? If we tried to split it and divide it right down the center here vertically. Same thing with horizontal. This vertex would end up way out over here. So it has two diagonal lines of symmetry. A trapezoid has one pair of parallel lines, four sides, two acute angles, and two obtuse angles. Its sides aren't the same. Its angles aren't the same. It's not a regular polygon. And it has one vertical line of symmetry. If we tried to do a line of symmetry going horizontally, we could see when we folded it across the black line, this part up here would be too small to be a mirror image of the bottom part. See that? We can't do it diagonally because this vertex would end up being way out over here. And we can use a small mirror to look for lines of symmetry. We can actually put a mirror on it like this and then look in the mirror to see its reflection and we'll see a complete shape. A hexagon has six sides and six angles. If each side has the same length and each angle is the same size, it is a regular hexagon. It'll have one vertical line of symmetry, one horizontal line of symmetry, and four diagonal lines of symmetry. And we can trace and cut out a shape to fold it and find its line of symmetry. We saw that in the last video. A circle is perfectly round. This means that any line that passes through the center point of the circle will be a line of symmetry. A circle has an endless number of lines of symmetry. If we make very thin lines, we can keep making more and more and all the lines of symmetry intersect, it means they cross at the center point. This shape has two lines of symmetry. Can we find and draw them? Well, if we look, we can make a vertical line of symmetry. See that? This side will be a mirror image of that side. So I see one vertical line of symmetry. We can try making a line this way, horizontally, and we can see. If we folded it on that black line, this top part would fold perfectly over to the bottom part, and it would make a mirror image. So it has one horizontal line of symmetry. That's our two lines of symmetry. It has no diagonal symmetry, because if we did a diagonal line like this, this shape is much taller than it is wider. 
and it would not fold perfectly to make a mirror image. It has zero diagonal lines of symmetry. We need to circle the images that appear to have line symmetry. Here we have a shadow of an eagle. We can take our little line and go like this and look. If we drew a vertical line of symmetry right down the center, it would have symmetry, wouldn't it? So that appears to have line symmetry, vertical line symmetry. The tail is too big for the head, so it wouldn't have horizontal line symmetry. What about this flower? Does it appear to have line symmetry? Yes, it does. Look at that. It's got some line symmetry. It's got vertical line symmetry for sure, doesn't it? We could fold it or trace it to be absolutely sure about the other lines of symmetry it has. What about the image of this television set? If we went like this, would we have a mirror image on both sides? Yes, we would. Even with the stand, it would fold perfectly. What about this leaf? If we went like this, would it be a perfect mirror image? on the fold? No. This part of the leaf is sticking out too much, isn't it? So that's that does not appear to have line symmetry. What about this Austrian flag? Does that appear to have line symmetry? If we drew a vertical line like this, would it make a mirror image on both sides? Yeah, it would. It would even do it if we did it horizontally. So that does appear to have line symmetry. So if it appears to make a mirror image when you have a line dividing it in half, then it has line symmetry. We need to tell whether the shape appears to have zero lines, one line, or more than one line of symmetry. We need to write zero, one, or more than one on the line. And take a look at this first figure. I can see it would have a line of symmetry this way. And it definitely would have a line of symmetry this way, so that's more than one. We don't need to keep looking because we know it's more than one. Here we have a parallelogram. Do you remember how many lines of symmetry a parallelogram has? It has zero lines of symmetry. What about this pentagon? Pentagons have five sides. It looks like the five sides are all the same length, and it looks like the angles are all the same measure. Well, if it's got five equal size sides and five equal size angles, it must have five lines of symmetry, so that would be more than one. This is also a pentagon, but it's a very long, skinny one, isn't it? It does not have five equal sides, and it does not have five equal angle measures. We can take our line and see that there's a vertical line of symmetry. And it wouldn't work that way. That doesn't make mirror images on both sides. It doesn't work horizontally, so it has one line. What about this quadrilateral right here? If we went like this, that would not be line symmetry because this vertex is sticking out too far. If we went like this, it wouldn't work either because it's still sticking out too far. And this wouldn't quite be a match because this line is a little bit longer than that line. And that wouldn't be a match either. So that has zero lines of symmetry. Now we have a square. It has four equal length sides and four right angles. Do you remember how many lines of symmetry a square has? It's got four equal sides and four equal angles. That means it's a regular polygon. It must have four lines of symmetry, so that would be more than one. Now we have a kite. We could do a vertical line of symmetry and fold it over. That would match on both sides. 
but it wouldn't work this way because that vertex is sticking out. And same with this diagonal, that vertex is sticking out. And it wouldn't work horizontally either because this is too pointy down here. So it has one line of symmetry. Now look at this shape. Do you think that has lines of symmetry? Is there any way that we could draw a line to make a mirror image? No. 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 That would have zero lines of symmetry. So remember, if there's more than one line of symmetry, we'll be able to find lines that can go vertically, diagonally, horizontally, that will make it be a mirror image on both sides. We'll be able to find several of them. If it has just one, it'll only have one line that will make a mirror image. And if it's got zero lines of symmetry, it's probably a very strange, irregular shape like that one or that one. We know parallelograms have no lines of symmetry. In our next lesson, 10.7, we're going to solve some word problems with shape patterns. Keep trying hard. I'll see you next time. Bye.